Today is about really hearing and getting a better feel as to how God has been at work in your life. You started in Atlanta. Where were you spiritually during those years? So growing up, grew up in a Catholic household, but didn't attend church much. God wasn't a big part of what was discussed around the dinner table. In early high school especially, I had a good friend and his family actually attended Apostles, the Merton family, and helped introduce me and expose me to the gospel and, and who Jesus was. And I started asking some questions of who is Jesus and what role should he have in my life? It can't purely be to, at that age, get good grades, play sports. There must be a designer, a creator in all of this. And that's what really struck home for me. When I was 15, I accepted Jesus and just truly started exploring for some of those truths. When Christ comes into our lives, things have a way of changing. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Even through the high school years, I, I didn't quite know what it meant to have a personal relationship with Jesus yet, but I saw it a lot. As I got into college more, candidly, I think I got caught up a lot in the, the ways of this world and not putting Christ first. Whether it's a great job out of school, getting caught up with what your role on a football team is, whatever it is, there's an opportunity to, to be pulled a million different ways, whether it's by the flesh, by the world. Romans 8 talks about a mind set on things of the flesh will be of the flesh, but a mind in the spirit will be of the spirit. God really worked on me that it's not things of the flesh, but follow Christ. It's been my privilege not only to get to know you, but the joy of getting to know Elise as well. Elise, she knew that for me, as I was trying to focus on a life for Christ, that that was what I, something I wanted in a partner. A lot of that turned into God stripping me down, humbling me, and we broke up, had some, some lows in our relationship, but God used me at the time to just expose, I think, use my brokenness, that I'm a broken soul, that I need Christ for wholeness and completeness. She had a similar questions of her own. Who is Jesus? And she saw it working in my life. Somewhere along that line, seeing that relationship led her to a relationship with Christ. We ended up getting married, but ever since, I've gotten to witness the relationship awesome. that, that Jesus yeah. played in her life. And at the same time, that is convicting to me. It is encouraging. It is the most uplifting thing you can see in that spouse. It truly is a relationship that we share that has Christ at the, the center of it. When we think about our one-on-one -on -one friendship, the mentoring relationship that I'm privileged to have with you, what has God brought into your life? I get to see you just living for Christ and through a lot of the, the young men in the next generation fraternity, those Tuesday morning groups. Studying together has really helped understand that our brokenness is a means of how God uses us. And maybe it's we're going through a downturn, it's a rough patch, whatever it is, God is good and He's gonna pull us out. The encouragement that comes from that is something I haven't experienced elsewhere. We're not in control of our own lives. Jesus is in control. There is a peace in that that you can't get anywhere in this world. Cast my worries aside, you know, God will take care of it. And having a peace and trust in Jesus that comes now through prayer, through studying the Word. If you talked to me four or five years ago, that wouldn't have been the case. It's an opportunity. I get to serve a living God that has big plans for me, for That's others. Big. There's a peace, an encouragement, a fulfillment that only comes through that. And I encourage others just to seek that. Well, Alex, I want you to know how proud I am of you, how I celebrate what the Lord's doing in your life. I'm really glad that you're my mentor. It is truly a blessing. And I get to see how the Lord is leading your life. And it's something that I want for my life as well. Humbled by that, man. We celebrate it together. Absolutely. God bless you, man.